This weekend it's the Battle of the Big Boys, Wigan Athletic against Blackburn Rovers. Talk about the match and more on today's show. That's right folks, back once again with another match preview. Before I carry on any further, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. Now anyway, Blackburn should be full of confidence going into this big one against Wigan Athletic after that kick-ass 3-0 victory over Portsmouth, even when we were down to 10 men. And what a pitch! But anyway, let's sink our teeth into the big one, which is Wigan Athletic. So, game kicks off Saturday 28th of October at the DW Stadium. Last season, Wigan finishing 23rd in the championship. And currently, Nick Power tops their scoring books with seven goals for the season. The key man behind the plan is Paul Cook. And over the years, Blackburn Rovers and Wigan Athletic have met just 24 times. I'm, I'm, I'm actually a little stumped about that statistic. And it gets worse for Rovers. We've only won six of the meetings between. And Wigan are winning 14 and we've drawn four of between us. As for the recent form going into this game, it's not looking good. We're un we have yet to pick up a win in the last five encounters. In fact, last time out we lost three zip at their gaff. On the top of the graphic there, the 4-3, that was all the way back in the Premier League 2011. We're going to come up 4-3 victors. It does look like a place that's this is not a positive venue for Rovers, but maybe, just maybe, the tide has turned. If you look at the table on the right-hand side of the graphic, you'll also see that Wigan currently sits second in the league, whereas Rovers are sixth. A win over Wigan will do us the wonder of good and try and narrow down the gap that is 12 points between the two sides. Obviously, Rovers have two games in hand on Wigan, which could narrow that down to six points. But I think, all importantly, we've got to get that victory at Wigan to uh, to make matters a little bit uh, clearer for us. Anyway, this is how I feel Wigan will line up on Saturday. Jones in goal, Burden, Elder, Morrissey, Power, Tony, Massey, Jacobs, Dunkley, Powell and Burn. Obviously Tony's also amongst the scorers. Powell doing the business as you can see, seven goals this season. But it's a pretty decent side and obviously they're in second spot for a reason. This is some statistics for you. Obviously, like I mentioned before, power seven goals. Jacobs has got five. Will Grigg, three for the season. He's not even in the starting 11. I'm not sure why that is. Perhaps he's got an injury or something. But that just shows the depth of uh, forwards that they have at the club. Massey's also there with three uh, for the season. It's a discipline. Morsi's got seven yellows. Tony got four. Jacobs, two. Burn also two. And the column that you don't want to be in. Dunkley, Evans and Elder all have a red card to their name. Let's look at the form book going into the game. Out of the past five games, Wigan have won four of them and drawing the other. Last time out, they beat Gary Bowyer's Blackpool at their gaff 3-1. Before that, at a 1-1 away draw at Chittingham. All the way back to 14th of October, three zip winners at South End against South End. Uh, all the way back to set Saturday, 7th of October, 2-1 victors at Scunthorpe. And all the way back to Saturday, 30th of September, Wigan 2-0 victors over Walsall. So, they're going into this on fire at the moment. Can we be the people that rock the boat a little bit? I'm hoping so. I think we have to play a lot more defensive than we did on Saturday. I know it's against what the fans want to see, but... I think we should be going into this to try and take a point. To be honest with you, maybe snatch something on the break. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if the likes of Chapman and, and possibly Dak might be impact subs. But we'll talk about the team in just a second. In fact, let's go straight into it right now. This is how I feel Rovers will line up uh, on Saturday. Raya and Gold, Naimbi, Downing, Mulgrew, Williams, Conway, Whittingham, Smallwood, Bennett... Graham and Dak. So I've gone for a bit of a, it, it, it's, it's defensive, obviously. Whittingham seems to push forward a bit more than Evans does. So that's a, a little bit more adventurous than, than you would imagine. And also the inclusion of Dak uh, adds some creativity in a wandering sort of role that he does. And hopefully Graham has found his shooting boots. I wouldn't be surprised if Antwinson is made way it comes in for instead of Graham. Seems to, to favour Bennett on the left. Uh, Conway, I think, will get the nod ahead of Chapman. 
if, if it's zero zero in the last 70 minutes stick Chapman on you're likely to get something if if that move is made anyway into the statistics uh, Samuel tops two of the tallies here uh, he's number one in goals uh, five goals for Samuel Mulgrew three Dak three now Anderson has three uh, yellow cards Bennett is in there with four Evans four small with three and Bradley Dak has also three and there he is top of the charts for red card first in the book four uh, sending off straight red for him last time out against Portsmouth into the form book now Rovers coming into this mm, not the greatest bit of form but most importantly they put on an impressive performance on Saturday against Pompey three nil winners before that that sloppy 1-1 draw at home to the bottom of the table Plymouth Argyle 25 shots Still can't get that out of my head. Before that, it was a 1-0 defeat to Oldham. Richie Wellens Oldham. He's got the job on a permanent basis, so congratulations to him. And on 3rd of October, Rovers went losing to Berry in the Czech Trade Cup. Who cares about that bad boy? And all the way back to September 30th, 1-0 victories at home against Gillingham. Over the years, the players have played for both Wigan Athletic and Blackburn Rovers. Here are just a few. Marcus Bent. Wore the blue and white stripes of Wigan. And he also wore the blue and white halves of Blackburn Rovers. He wasn't, I don't think he was that popular at Rovers. I think he was more popular at uh, Wigan. Moving forward. Loney for Blackburn Rovers. Jordi Gomez also played for Wigan Athletic. Again, more of a household name in the Wigan neck of the woods than he was at Blackburn Rovers. He was an alright signing. He did some stuff for us. Um, he, he played in the season with Lambert, I believe, um, but a permanent deal was never made. And this fella, Stephen Warnock, one of my favourites, Stephen Warnock, played for Wigan and he also played for Blue and White Blackburn Rovers. One of my favourite players of, of that era, I think it was in the Sparky era, um, quality left back. I think it was, I think it was in the Sparky era, don't, don't call me on that one. Um, decent player, still playing. I think he's at Burton these days. Uh, would have loved to see him return to, to Blackburn, but uh, he's getting a bit old in the tooth now. Uh, and would you believe it? He's got some English caps to his name. Quality player. But there are a number of other players who have played for both Blackburn Rovers and Wigan Athletic. I am saving some for the return leg. In fact, the list is 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 huge. Uh, if you want to check out the full list, head over to my WordPress site. Details in the description below. I'll give you the, the, so waste no more time. You don't have to think about it in there. Check it out. And while you're there, leave a comment just to let me know that you checked it out. So that's what I've been saying a little bit. This is what the fans have been saying on social media. In fact, it's actually quite uh, busy out there. Jordan WAFC Ball in the League One Banter Group says, Blackburn best get ready for us to put five or six past them next week. If we do put six past them, they'll be able to count all of our goals on one hand. That's absolutely shocking. Ian Talbot and the Rovers Facebook page said, Yeah, we got three, plus everyone has stopped crying and started smiling. Good weekend, but the true test is yet to come. Wigan take on Blackburn. And to be honest, I'm shitting it. I see 3-0 to Wigan. Sorry, guys. But Darren Carl Roberts, also on the Rovers page, says, 1st of January 2007, last time we beat Wigan on their soil. About time we put that right. Phil Gardner in the League One Banter Group says, We're going to be ready for the massive to take over your town and ground next Saturday. Joe Adams on the same page. Looking forward to next weekend when the mighty Blackburn destroy the Pieters. Wigan 0, Blackburn 2. Easy three points in the bag for Rovers. Marky Mark in the League One Banter Group also says, Well, Halloween horrors are coming early for the Pie Munchers of Wigan. Samuel getting his marching orders at Ewood and subsequent ban means it's highly likely you're up for a date with the nut next Saturday. Meanwhile, Phil Gardner, also in the League One Banter Group, says, So, Blackburn are top of the away attendance league and the aggregate figure is set to go through 15,000 barrier when 3,000 of us go over to Wigan on Saturday. If we have been a little more consistent, we have taken even more to away fixtures. We are massive! Meanwhile, just commenting on the, the, the league position, Paul Aldreve, the Rovers uh, Facebook page, said this to keep, to mention a few, keep the faith. A very, very long way to go. P.S. I know a Wigan first teamer personally, and he has honestly told me they will drop off and Rovers will win it. It's only a game, lads. So he's saying basically Wigan, might be second at the moment, 
but expect them to drop off towards the end of the season and Rovers to come in there and sneak it. I'll take that for you, son. That's what the social media's been saying. What does Cast the Cat been thinking about the game? Let's check it out and see what she thinks will happen between Wigan Athletic and Blackburn Rovers. <laughs> much all I've got for you folks before you go make sure you head over to my YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers I am on Twitter SoundCloud Facebook and iTunes if you want to check me out on the go so the big one it is the big one this weekend between Wigan Athletic and Blackburn Rovers can we pick up a monster this would be a monstrous three points of the season and it will be a clear statement to the division that we are back and we have finally gelled together i still think there's there's some wobbles and cracks and uh you know mowbray might throw a few spanners in the works i'm hoping ward is now done and dusted and i'm hoping down could be the rock of our defense uh perhaps maybe a, a deal to seal on a permanent basis can be worked out in january that's something i need to keep an eye on uh also chapman started last time out pull them pull him back now a little bit get him back on the bench this is not a game i think to be uh, exposed and open at uh, the DW. I think they're going to be a tough opposition. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. You got your own thoughts, you got your own opinions. Put them in the comment section below. Until next time, thumbs up, subscribe, ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. It'll get you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. But if you want to check out something completely different, head over to my other YouTube channel. You do that by pressing the button right there. If you want to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, details are in the description below. So until next time, thumbs up, subscribe, ciao for now.